and we're live. Welcome everybody. Hi, I'm Janelle Sherman. Welcome in today. We are hoping we get a bunch of new people. We just love new people to intermix with our amazing Bali babes that are out there. Um, I'm Janelle that designs the jewelry for you. So um, I'm, we make everything still the old school way and that's what I love about kind of showing off my family. Um, we literally take about four different ways of silversmithing and we handcraft these pieces and really used to see my product at you know quite quite a bit higher prices we have some amazing scream of the deals and i gotta tell you um if you purchase two hundred dollars we are sending you my beautiful roses my nails the cross and also, if you spend, what is it? You get 10% off if you spend 100. So 150. 150. But you need coupon called Live 10. Live 10. So anyway, um, how do you shop on all these things? Well, we have a website, Sarda.com. Um, but we like to kind of show you, um, I'm a very visual person and so I'm not very techie. So I uh, thank you, Tanya, for putting this amazing video together um, of giving you a little bit more information where to shop and how to contact us, okay? So I'll be right back, but watch this. Hope that it'll be very informative.
back and I'm going to start us off at giving some things away right away. Yes. So we're going to talk and through the announcements, we're going to spin and win. So anyway, thank you so much, you know, for sharing uh, your love of Sarda out there and sharing. So everybody who shared the post that had the abalone earrings and yeah, I think they are here somewhere. Yes, they're over here. So whoever shared the abalone earrings. Um, so we're going to do a spin for, um, what, what do we say? Uh, four and four so we're going to spin for four free ones now and then we're going to spin again so we're going to give eight of the abalone away that has the chain link and, and this comes with a whole collection that i did of yeah. course because i love to design collections for you ladies but yeah just really beautiful actually i can even put these on because it would absolutely match with the abalone flash it looks great what does not go with the zero mercury though N nothing so shelly roten okay Congrats. Congratulations, Shelly. So that was spin number one. These are coming home. Spin too. number two is Jess Black. So congratulations, <gasps> Jess. Jess. Spin number three is Michelle Shepard. Michelle Shepard, congratulations. And spin number four is Laurel Monroe. Oh my gosh. So congratulations. Laurel. Oh my gosh. Let everybody know. So, yep, you're getting those home. Sassy, they're just really fun. Galaxy abalone, there's greens, there's purples, there's blues. It just goes with everything. So it, you'll get a lot of wear out of these for sure. So yeah. pretty. So I just want to make sure everyone knows they can watch us on YouTube and follow us over there. Big screen is always good. Yeah. And uh, contact us is at the bottom of every page on our website. And if you need, um, have you have design ideas for Janelle, there's an item you would like us to bring back. Um, what else that you want to, you know, any question about Amy, anything yep. that you might need, then you can uh, reach out there and we just ask for one to three business days for a response time. Mm -hmm. Again, spend $200 and that runs through the weekend. Yes, maybe? correct. Through the weekend okay. and you get the humbled by his majesty pendant. So yes, and I will show that underneath right away too. So you can yeah. see, um, yes, it's definitely a medallion. It's truly beautiful. Live 10, uh, a coupon code, Live 10, gives you 10% off your cart when you spend $150. The only, it is unlimited use for the whole weekend. It's just excludes the Jodos and look of the week because look of the week already has a 15% off coupon. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So we well, can't double up that. And also make sure you're logged in because the mm -hmm. coupons are connected. It's just the only way that we can give them out. So we're not trying to trick you. So, but um, yeah, to, to get those other coupons, so that's how it's set up. And then at the checkout, you can add jewelry cleaner, the ambassador cards, the sizer bundles for bracelets and rings, and also the earring backs. That's the one so that is there's on. There's one yeah. there. We're going to switch those up every so often, but yeah. there'll be some different options there for you at checkout. Yeah, and I usually try to show you the earring backs because I created them and I actually make them in the U.S. And um, if you ladies have weaker ears, um, it, they're just really great for your studs because it sits them back up again. And see, like me, I had a long piercing because I wore such long earrings. So I like to really, you know, stick my back on and then it, I'm able to wear it up higher on my ear or sometimes on one of them, they would droop down. So they're fabulous. Okay, what else? So that's um, what well, we got? The other, that's what I have for announcements, yeah. but I'm really excited. We have some new beads tonight to show some new stretchy bracelets that I threw on there last I'm week. I'm already eyeing one of them. Amazonite! Oh, no, my whole team was at doing this. So it, there, it's a really pretty shade, and it really mixes with so many things. So it's not as bright as the other Amazonite. This is a little bit of a different Amazonite, Amazonite but really dreamy, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Yeah. So um, that one, um, and we got additional sizes. So we have two sizes. Um, what we did is make we made the most popular size. So the two most popular sizes. So if that those you like those, we'll end up adding more sizes down the road. So. And then we have a quick question too before we get going. Sally Zambrino was uh -huh. wondering if you if gemstones can go into the jewelry cleaner. Okay, so. Um, Soaking gemstones in the jewelry cleaner is never a good idea. Silver, yep, you can plop it in there. Um, it's not a problem, but it's not meant to be soaking. It's the cleaner really, you, you kind of saturate it, you do the brush and you should be done. So you don't have to leave it in there um, for long. And that's why I provide those little brushes is you can literally dip the whole piece in it and then use that little brush and then um, 
spray the water on it and then I always use that cloth to, to wipe it off and it's that fast like it, it cleans up really really good now if you have something that's very very tarnished you know like maybe you have some silverware or something like that the paste is the best to use so you start with the paste and you rub it around then I always say take the brush and add some of that liquid cleaner and you'll just see that start to come back to life and reveal that really amazing colored silver again so um yeah it's actually very therapeutic when you start like you'll be like what else can i clean mm. yeah you'll love it <laughs> and patricia, crazy. patricia was wondering how does she take care of her howlite does she need to do anything special with howlite now with howlite um it's a pretty good stone um there's a polish to it so whenever you have an opaque stone meaning it's not a faceted translucent stone um with like corals opaque, you don't want to put the cleaner on any of your coral, your amber, your pearls, and the opaque, meaning you can't see through them, okay? So that's a pretty good indicator. When I say opaque, if you can't see through the stone, you don't want to put the paste or the cleaner on it. You just want to clean around the stone, okay? If you get a little bit on it, no, it's 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 not going to kill the stone, no. But um, that's what you want to do with your opaques. The translucents, more of them, yes, you can soak them, dip that all the way into the jewelry cleaner. Um, and most translucent gemstones. And also, like a lot of times with quartzes, they're pretty safe, right? Um, anything that has a hardness of over like five or a six is usually really fine in jewelry cleaner. So most opaques are softer that you can't see through. Almost a majority of makes up for you go to black spinel, then you've got a, a major hardness. And black spinel is totally fine with cleaners and stuff like that. And what about hand sanitizers? Hand sanitizers. Oh, with our it's stones. so funny. We did some of the quartzes and stuff and we left it sitting there for months to see if it was going to do something. And so, um, yeah, during that time, because we were so worried about what was going to happen, and um, I, with opaque stones, same kind of rule. Don't don't put the hand sanitizers around the opaques. Like, just avoid. But, like, you know, even when I do oils and stuff, I do this. I don't stick it on the top of it. Um, and then that's why, make sure, I always use the, the polishing cloth. I always have one of these. But these are better to use on, more for the opaque stones and they clean up the jewelry just really great. So I tend to always have my polishing cloth, keep them pretty good. And here's a trick too, if you keep your stuff in a plastic bag with that little tarnish strip, if you're not wearing it, um, silver wants to tarnish, okay, somewhat. But mine is already oxidized, so you're going to find mine does not tarnish as quickly if it's put away. But get rid of the oxygen and the outside air and stuff that is there. So tending to your jewelry is, it, it really keeps it um, really where you're not gonna be cleaning as much. But you ladies that have kind of like me, I leave it in big pile, kind of leave it there. I take my polishing cloth, kind of clean them all up, then I put them all back in their bags. But it, it is, it's pretty easy with, with Bali silver, um, the cleanup on it. But stick them all in a plastic bag, that's what I always say. Stick them, if you're not one to put stuff away, just close that bag up and you hardly will have any upkeep. Oh, another thing, if you're wearing jewelry all the time and you're wearing your stuff constantly, it also cleans, right? You're washing your hands, you're, you're doing stuff. Um, you might actually pop into the shower with them, your silver pieces or whatever. You'll find you won't have as much probably upkeep because when you're wearing it, it doesn't. It's when silver sits there for periods of time where you're not using it is when you'll start to see the that tarnishing process faster. Mm. Debbie was wondering if um, she has an obsession about hand washing. Mm -hmm. um, are all of our stones bezel set or are some glued in? No, everything is bezel set. So all, all of our gemstones are bezel. We don't uh, use gluing on. Uh, the only thing that we have to use glue on is a cap. So there's one thing. So it's still bezel and we bezel around it, but we, we have this little prong that goes in and we always put just a little bit and that would be something that has a drop that comes out of it, okay? So that is, in that case, we always, that's the only one we do it on. But it's still bezeled around it. And then Tracy Ruder graham uh -huh. wanted to recognize Jennifer and customer and our customer care team, how awesome she is and helping her with a bracelet. Isn't she? I know. As a matter of fact, we had a big meeting because like trying to get to everybody because we like to get that extra care. They, they're starting to drown a little bit. They're like... 
because they are so helpful. So we, we were like, no, we will always try to do our best to get there. But there's, a, what I'm hearing, there's sometimes limitations of what they can do because some of the other girls are like, this is our space, please let us in. Mm -hmm. But our team, my team works really great. They love and care for you so much. And we really do try to go um, to the extra length for you, but we are a really small team though. So um, literally, you're talking just a little over my fingers. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> and then all of the other um, is my artisans that actually live at my home in Bali that makes the things. But us getting, preparing, getting, making sure the quality before it comes to you, um, there's there's less than 20 of us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Do you want to show some jewelry? I will. Let's show some. Okay, so I'm, first of all, I'm going to show... And please, ladies, we're gonna to try to get to all your questions. Um, if you don't see it come up, um, put it in the feed again. And um, you know, a lot of times we're doing sizes and fits and stuff like that, but we definitely want you to be part of our show. And um, if I can answer any questions at all, I am more than happy to answer. And I'm very truthful with things. So like I'm trying to, you know, I, sometimes I know it's not what everybody wants to hear, but I've gotta, I, I'm very truthful. <laughs> Okay, so this is a really beautiful, like that you saw, it's like definitely a medallion size, but truly beautiful. This is the pendant you're going to be getting, um, and say the deal again because I'll say it wrong again. It is if you spend $200, then you receive that uh, pendant. Yeah. Humbled by His Majesty Rose's pendant. And these will go through all of our chains too, so the bales are sized um, that all of our chains fit through them beautifully, even with the extender rings that we do on them. And if you wanted to purchase the pendant, if you didn't, you know, oh yeah, yeah, you can still do. You still have that option at seventy nine ninety nine. Okay, wonderful. Well, everybody was asking for zero Saturn, and that is one of the pieces. Oh, zero Mercury. This is zero Mercury. Zero Mercury has this really beautiful, like orange yellow with a green pattern to it, uh, in color. And this is just a, everybody's love, love piece. And um, this was something we did more than we ever do of anything else because it's that really that piece that everybody gets home and loves and says, hey, do you have that ring yet? <laughs> if you don't, you need it, right ladies? Oh my gosh, I just looked down to know. I was, I was watching the feed for a minute. This is one of the show specials. Oh, the, okay, that's right. Okay, yeah. so I have a couple of the, actually I didn't, I forgot, but it's my piece I grabbed because it's one of my favorites. But can you see the way that I did this too? I actually did the back gallery so that you would see a really beautiful design in it too. So that's part of, I, I literally made a bunch of different galleries and then picked this, and it, it really prisms the color, but you see that, that light playing through the back? See, that's the gallery there that you're seeing that really pretty patterning in too. Um, what did I do? Because I know I couldn't pick one. I did both. You did both. Uh, $99.99 for the special on this. See, and it is, it, this is, I'm gonna plop it back on me because it is one of my favorite collections. It's one I have too. And it's the largest of what I've done in it too. But I have this series, but this one is done. Um, you can really mix and match these next two series. This is the chain link that I do and everything is bezel set. So you're never gonna see spaces between our stones that you see with other people's things because they're not bezel setting, they're, they're gluing a lot. And um, yeah, it's, it's truly that stone is secured. And at 30 years we've been doing this. So really you're getting that luxury quality in every piece and uh, expert lapidaries that cut the gemstones for you. So you see the beautiful faceting on the face of the stone and truly, this is just one of those really mesmerizing pieces. When you wear color too, what will happen is see how it's picking up the reds? So when you're wearing color, because this is natural, genuine crystal quartz, it acts like a mirror and it will pick up other colors you're wearing too, just so you know. Okay, so I'm gonna show the other one because the other one I did is chain link also uh, with the hammered but I did this really beautiful little bezel, and this was like a signature bezel that you see in a lot of my pieces, but all the motifs really go back and match back and forth to each other, but maybe this is not your style. This one, you're gonna see a little bit more low profile, so 
it's kind of pick your choice. I know a lot of the ladies, this is their fan favorite, right? Your gemstone. Everything I do, you ladies like collect all my pieces in the, the zero Mercury. And zero Saturn, what's the difference? It's got a pink that the zero Mercury would not. So if you were to say what is the big difference between zero Saturn and zero Mercury, zero Saturn has this pink that you get out of it. So it's got a lot of the same colors, but it's got a real dominant pink that comes out of it. Where this one um, has more of the, the warm shades, right? Okay, and look at still that amazing. And um, anytime you see the work like this, this is a separate piece of silver that we've inset onto the inside. These are all separate component pieces to construct these by hand. And you see, again, we did that twisted rope and these are all individually like rolled to to bezel against the stone here. Okay, so that is your, your other mix. Um, I'm gonna go into the coordinating pieces that actually go because I design in sets. Um, my suggestion is always to get at least two pieces in my collections because um, a lot of my stones are very unique or exclusive to my collection. I believe this is the Bali Sunrise that I did in this one. Am I correct? And you are. Okay, because like lately in my topaz. memory. Mystic Topaz. Yeah, and this is a Princess Cut Topaz. And um, you're going to see the really beautiful colors that like really pop out of this gemstone. But again, you know, I love a lot of movement on my pieces. And so that's going to be the coordinating, if, if you like exact sets. Uh, but again, with that, that chain link, so you're seeing the chain link, you can, you could still go the bigger ring and do this kind of pendant, right? And mm -hmm. um, I'll give you kind of a measurement on that one, just so you can kind of see the size on that one. Uh, but we love, we love, the, the Bali Sunrise is a topaz that is exclusive to my collection. You will not find the Bali Sunrise anywhere. And I love this. I put it together today because to me, it's so beautiful with the Lucky Stone. So I'm going to show you like layering how pretty the Lucky Stone is next to it because it, it has, the Lucky Stone basically has all these colors. Um, I love to do bracelets like this because they're super um, easy to put on but it's going to fit a lot of people. So if you have a petite wrist, um, it's gonna fit you, but it's gonna go all the way. What's the, the last size, the, the sizing on this it one? It will go up to an eight inch wrist. An eight inch wrist, see? So yeah, so and what, what's it start at, Michelle? Five, seven, five. Five, seven, five. So yeah, that is gonna hit a petite wrist for sure. Um, so see, you just latch that. I always, because I wanted to always do something pretty. I put a little charm so that you still get that really beautiful little dangle. Look how pretty it is next to um, one of my tip to tips, right? Um, but I'm gonna start adding the Lucky Stone to it so you can see how pretty, because you saw all those colors, right? From here to here. But isn't that beautiful if you layering and stacking? This is one of my like kind of signature items. You see how it's all bar hinged? But this is all handmade chain in Bali. And so Bali is very famous for their, their handmade luxury chain like this. And every little piece you see there is a separate jump ring that is woven together. So it comes in a stiff stock. And then we manipulate it and soften it to get that chain just really beautiful so it lays against your skin. But what we love about it is it gets softer and softer and softer as you wear it like a leather, right? So you know how like a, a lamb is always softer, but then sometimes, you know, when you, you don't get the lamb, it's always a little bit stiffer, but then over time it, it works out and it smooths out. The chain does the same thing. But this is, um, this is definitely one of my favorites because I put that uh, smaller uh, toggle bar and so it, it, this, you are going to love this style. Matter of fact, I want to bring this one in so many other gemstones, ladies, like, and I want to keep that. Um, but see how pretty as you start to layer and stack, maybe you want to move this one and you want to kind of fit in your little um, tip to tip with it like this. So yeah, I always, we're going to show you a lot of silver bracelets to kind of mix and match with also and in your collection. But see, this is watermark, my watermark, but look how beautiful the chain link, the watermark. Um, I actually design a lot of collections with those two motifs in it a lot of times too. And the Lucky Stone bracelet will fit a five and a half to a seven and a quarter interest. The only ring we have left, we have been selling out of um, a lot of the rings. There is another one that's a little bit longer style. 
um, that you can actually find on the website. So if um, if you go to the page and you see this and you're like, does she have anything else in Lucky Stone? All you have to do is up in the bar is type in Lucky Stone on our website and you can see other collections that I might have in Lucky Stone. But um, this ring, if we have it left in your size, ladies, don't wait. Like it is, it is just, it's one of my new styles and it is, it's, it's fabulous. I mean, look at, look, I mean, you can see that just molded right to my hand. The one thing I'm always going to do is this is my kiss to you because I want you to just feel amazing. I know that when you go to spend your money, you want something that's going to be heirloom and last forever. And that's why I've worked so hard over the last three decades to really create jewelry that is something different than what you're going to find out in the market. Um, all the designs are exclusive to me because I'm the only designer here at Sarda. Um, and they're literally really custom made, every piece. We, we still do pretty small batches anymore because I want to get you a lot of new different styles that I've designed. Um, but in a lot of times we order about 20 rings now is about where we're at when we do a ring. So, um, and we're, we carry our rings in size six to 12, but we're starting to bring in some size fives on the thinner bands now. So you're gonna start seeing us bring in a lot more fives. On the bigger statement rings though, uh, we're not, because sometimes if you're buying a smaller ring, um, if, if in normal retail out there, if you've only worn things like this in this size, when you start to go into my rings here, most likely you're gonna find you're gonna size up, okay? So if you're only wearing thin styles like this, um, what you will find quickly is that if, if, if you usually buy sevens here, right? You might end up being, a, your starter size might be an eight, right? In some of the bigger pieces. So um, I'm gonna suggest for you to get the ring sizer home first though. Okay, size up your, maybe you don't even know what size, you just used to go into stores and buy stuff. We will send you a kit with all of these little goodies in it. I'm just gonna show you the whole kit. See the thick ring sizer and the thin ring sizer? So you're gonna size your hand and it's gonna tell you on the thin one, right? If you're buying this size, you wanna use the thin ring, see? But if you're buying some of the bigger rings, I want you to use this one and size your hand out, okay? Because that might tell you. And if you're in between a size, you wouldn't buy the seven. So if you're in between, like say if you're a seven and a half, always buy the eight, okay? And why? Because my inside galleries will give you a really nice fit. And so we don't have to do half sizes on the bigger rings like this because of that, okay? <clears throat> Simona over on YouTube was wondering the color of the stone in the zero mercury. Where does that come from? Okay, so it, it, um, these are called mystic. There's only one person um, and they do it here in um, the U.S. And it's astronaut technology basically. So basically we take gemstones and what there's, it's called a chemical vapor disposition. So what it is, is at like every gemstone you get, is either heat treated or it, it, it goes through kind of a process. So it's the same kind of idea with heat, but what we do is we take other minerals that might exist in the stone already and heighten it more. And that's where we get the colors from. So literally it heats up these minerals that um, are in the basin. So all the stones go in this big chamber and they're, they're in this big chamber in these little trays. And then we heat up different min gold, um, cobalt, like, uh, you know, basically think about your chemistry class. A lot of those types of things, it heats up and it turns into a vapor that literally goes into the stone. And it's a permanent process. And that's where the mystics come from. So um, there's one person, you only go through him. Um, you're not, you, you can't get him anywhere else. Um, there are some ones that are not a permanent process that you might see um, it, it's just kind of like some of your favorite designers. You see a counterfeits out there. It happens. Um, but with my jewelry, I only work through them. Um, I found that out very quickly when I got my first letter mm -hmm. 30 years ago saying, you can't, you can't not use our goods. So I was like, what? So I have been fast friends with them, apologize. And it has been like 
I, I am the Mystic Queen. I, I absolutely love what they do. I love the beauty that they bring to the gemstones. And then we go in and facet the gemstones, which then changes the colors of them also. So depending on our cutting and faceting, you'll get other cuts. And that's where sometimes you'll see the cutter um, signature and it might have been the original same say it's it was the imperial purple but it's chatty because of the different cutters that we use um, once we get the material so I hope that makes sense it does I, I think that answered it, the question it's a the, lot I know yes. sometimes my my stories go on forever sorry the multi-stone bracelet will fit a six to a seven and three quarters inch wrist yeah well and I think I probably have too many on because I want to go into this this is one of our most popular colors ever. And I wanna point out tonight that little ring that I showed and the little multiple earring. I gotta tell you, we use this. This is all topazes. So this is not a quartz, it's a, it's a topaz, okay? This is a color we use in so many things. And it is not a pink and it's not a red. It's that just this really neutral color that just uh, complements. Like if you do the porcelain jaspers for me, if you do um, any of the pink vapors, like all the kind of pinks it goes with the burgundy and the, the pink tones but this is again because most gemstones are treated in some way like something crazy like 98 percent of gemstones something's done to them okay some kind of treatment okay because they have to stabilize even white quartz they have to heat treat it they have to so that's way it it pretty much keeps the color the color that it's coming out of the ground okay or what it does when the heat hits it brings it to its best color it will ever be and then then it basically stabilizes it okay so everything everything is usually it's very hard for not to have cutting or polishing or something which they consider a treatment okay to a stone some things are oiled like there's it's crazy once you start learning you're like what so I now take materials and I, I bring them to even more of their beauty. So this is a really beautiful piece of pink opal that I took. And what I did is we take the shell, the nacre, the mother of pearl, and that really glossy layer. And we, we, we call this window boxing. We put that over the top. And then on the top of that is a natural crystal quartz. So do you see that rainbow sheen that comes out? It picks up sometimes a green, a pink. That's the mother of pearl. The light color underneath is the pink opal. And then it literally is this prism like crystal mirror, but it's, it's, it's natural crystal quartz that's on the top. So I do things to really just bring out even more of the beauty of the gemstones. And look at the earrings, like ladies who bought these, like when I said, this is going to go with so many things, how many things are you putting with this? It almost looks like a rainbow moonstone almost, right? So it kind of like if you've got if you're a big rainbow moonstone fan, try this. Um, very very cool. So anyway, I have the little lever backs that I, I we do, and then we set all these little stones. Uh, again, these are all bezel set. They're not just like glued into there, but rolling the bezels. I mean, you have to go around at least three times. But what is the hardest part is when you use those tools. They're hard tools against hard metal. Um, we have to go through and get all the nicks and stuff out. And I don't know if you know this about silver, but um, with our Bali silver, we oxidize everything black. So we literally have to polish everything back, which kind of actually stops the tarnishing process a little bit so it's not as fast. But another thing we do with our silver is we go in after that, and that's why it takes more time now to finish our pieces than actually silversmithing anymore and, and creating the piece. Because we have to clean it up really, really good. And then we actually are putting this clear coating over the top of it to try to seal it. Now that is not a permanent process, but it, it also slows down that tarnishing process on our items. So that is another kind of additional thing that we do just to kind of seal in the oxidation, but it also prevents it from tarnishing so fast also. So you might've noticed that, but if you're like me and you're wearing pieces all the time, I, I go in the shower, I don't take my silver pieces off. I take my gemstone stuff off at night and I sleep in my all silver stuff. That's just what I do. Um, so if you're that person, um, 
eventually, like if you keep wearing them like that, you'll be good. But it will, th that, that part of that process could eventually wear off like in a year. Okay, just so you know. But that's just something we don't really usually talk about, but I'm gonna let you know. It's something we do. Because we really like to talk about permanent things, but not semi-permanent. Um, it's just something we knew we could do. Um, it takes a lot of labor to actually go through because we have to get those pieces just, oh, I'm gonna go into the pinks next because um, I know we're getting super low on some of those pieces, but they're so pretty. Oh, I, I, I snuck this piece in because I think it, it, this is one of my favorites because it kind of pulls the greens. So with the Lucky Stone, don't forget, you can kind of pull your greens in also. So you're gonna see that in the feed. Um, this is just one of my favorite bracelets. It's just so pretty. And I love the tip to tip with it. So if you wanna bring greens into your Lucky Stones for the day, uh, it, it, it does look so beautiful together. And again, two sizes on that bracelet, huh, Michelle? Yep, and we have a six and a half fitting a six to seven inch wrist, and a seven and a half fitting a six seven five to a seven seven five. And you have those priced at $199.99. And then, of course, they can use the Live 10 to get an additional 10% off. And I did have a couple questions for you before. Yes. You know what? This is really pretty with the Lucky Stone, too. We Ooh, just yes. got this bracelet back in, ladies. We finally got it back in. Um, so this one is BDS 383. So, um, yeah, that little color. Oh, my gosh. If you have any of the porcelain jaspers and stuff, too. Um, so pretty. Oh, you know that pink quartzite I did too? Oh my gosh, it is so pretty with that. And Michelle, ask me some questions. Uh, Becky says she loves the sunrise. Any shorter earrings coming? The Bali, oh. Any oh, shorter earrings. We need to do that. You know what? Um, I, I think what happened is we ran out of the stone and we kind of started using the ardent a little bit, the orange, mm -hmm. and we kind of forgot about the Bali sunrise. So um, 100%, like we need all those single pieces, Becky. So yes, okay, I'm gonna work on it. Cause we need some of the small rings, we need the earrings, say, we need Kat, the bracelet. Kathy is asking about a ring. We need all say, of it, yep. you're right. So yes, um, we actually pulled out some things. So I will make sure, uh, would you mind teasing Jessica and tell her we want the basics in the Bali Sunrise? Because I actually did, I wanted to make sure I, that trademark, like I said, came through. We own that. That is us. Um, and so, um, 100%, we, we were waiting to get that to, to bring in more. So Exciting. I oh, and see, like this. Would this be perfect? Right too, mm -hmm. Becky, huh? So, yes, we will work on it. Um, and, and then Tracy was asking, will we, will we be seeing some of the Zero Saturn coming soon? Instead um, of Zero Mercury. I mean, um, it, it is something we love all the time. So yes, 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 yes. We never, we're never going to stop doing it. Um, I, I actually brought stuff in, but you guys bought it all too quickly. It was supposed to last me for like <laughs> months. So um, I'm trying to work around trying to figure out your favorite stuff and how, how to get every enough of everything for you. So mm -hmm. yes. I, I will add it to my list because it's not the first time everybody keeps asking and I think um, yes so we won't stop using it if you even saw some of the gemstones I've got lined up for you ladies this year you'd be like oh my gosh it's gonna be so good so I cannot wait this is a stack system you get all of them all of them so I'm gonna go through each one of them um, but first of all, you're going to get the really beautiful filigree band, okay? So you're going to get that automatically. And you saw some of the stones have the filigree band, okay? So I'm going to put that one on. Then you're going to also get the little braided, um, and this is twisted wire that's braided, then hammered down. It's really, really comfortable. Love this ring. See, it, you can see it's a full eternity that we've hammered out um, of all wire. It is so cool. So the pearl one is set like that. Okay, on that, and so is the um, pink sapphire. Wait, 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 is that the pink? That is pink sapphire, right? Yeah. Yes. That is the lab created pink sapphire. Okay, I did. Okay, this one, I believe this is the pure pink, or is it the ultra? That is the, we have fast casual. Oh, the fast casual is actually. And pure pink. Okay, this is the fast casual, this is the pure pink. pink. Yeah. And, um, so that I'm gonna show you, if, if, if you're just wearing them like this, ladies, get true to size. If you're gonna split them apart and you're wearing two, you can get true to size. 
If you start stacking with these though, you're probably gonna have to go up one size. That's why I'm putting them on my sevens right now, okay? Um, so if you start stacking up like this and you wanna wear it as a true stack because they, they really um, are so pretty stacked up like this too, then, and there, there's over 150 different ways you can wear these rings and stack them up too, just so you know. So actually, you know what? I probably put that one down here. So look, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna put that one here because I kind of feel like that one would be really cool right there. So I'm gonna show you, put that stack back on. Let's see, I'm gonna do that one, that one. Nope. See, that's, that's where you can start creating your stack and just having so much fun. Okay, that one. And then I'm going to go this one. And I probably would stick that one here. But yeah, you're gonna have so much fun changing the shape of the, the, the rings and such with it. So um, yeah, a lot of women get two sets because they're like, sometimes I wanna stack, sometimes, but these are gonna be those giftable pieces. Uh, we did all of our stacks like this early on and we have nothing lined up for our holiday. So we, I've historically always brought these in for the holiday. See how pretty they are? That, oh, that's cool. That like you can literally stack up one, two, and just have such a pretty look, right? Look at, I'm just gonna go all filigree. Look how cute that is, right? And then, yeah. Ooh, you know what? This would be cute like this. And creating your own two stone like this, right? Isn't that fun? But you're going to have, I mean, there is, like I said, 150 different ways. They can all be worn singly or stacking them up. Um, but this is one of those really amazing deals. Um, I have to tell you, the, the labor on these smaller rings just by themselves, it's always better for me to do it as a stack. I, we just did a bunch of single ones, ladies, and I'm like, it's, I, I, really, it's better for me to stack. My artisans will go, okay, if I do all those together, it's just easier. And I'm, I just don't know how to change the mindset to try to just do them singly. Patricia was wondering on that spinel bracelet, the tip to tip, um, about other stones. Which one? The the. Oh, this one. Spinel tip to, to do tip. some other ones. Mm -hmm. Oh my the gosh! Stone because we do love this tip. To I know. Do you know I don't have anything lined up, and we really should. So yes, I need to put that out because we've got a lot of really. Oh my gosh, I have the one in the chain link, that, that new, I cannot wait to show you this new, like, it's magenta sapphire. Like, it is Ooh. the most incredible color. I can't call it what it was named because a super, super expensive jeweler used it, so I can't mm -hmm. use the actual name it was called. But, um, oh my gosh, that would, I did it in the chain link tip to tip, but oh my gosh, it would be so pretty in this too. Um, yes. I will so look into that for sure because yeah. it is one worth absolutely bringing back. And usually if I do a green, I try to do a blue or a pink or something else, right? Because we love a style, but we're like, oh, maybe I don't love that stone. So I do try, I'm, I, I'm noticing I get requests like that. So um, yes, I will work on that. Now, when I say I'm gonna work on it, just know it can be <laughs> eight months by the time you see it, okay? so. I'm hearing you, we're putting things through. And also it's, oh, Brandy, I got the, I got the uh, 12, uh, I got the uh, crazy lace. I know yesterday I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, Brandy. Okay, so it's coming. I, I was like, no, I, I don't care what it takes. I literally told Brandy we would do a reorder. So that ring is coming um, back. So I love this ring. These, I, like I don't want, like this, I wanna do this one and more stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, it's good. It's, really it's just, you know, some rings just, you know, the, the comfort level, but I just love the look of it too. I mean, it just looks expensive. I am always trying to upgrade and do things too, because I want you to go, wow, that looks like I could have paid a lot more. That, that's what I want. And I love how it's fully hammered. And you see how this little crown is set up almost like my bezels. Yeah, I just, I just think, I, I, I just love every part of this ring for you that I got to design for you, so thank you. It's funny you brought up Brandy, because she just put a question in too, asking oh, about she did. cab pre-night rings. 
She would like to see some yeah. cab. Oh, pre-night. Brandy pre-night. Like I go to a show, it is all uncalibrated. So you know how I found those those collections that I've been sitting on? On um, the last place, they're all uncalibrated. That means I see. I have to do it all the same so I can get to some kind of pricing. And bezeling all the, yeah, it's, um, I, I told you when that pre-night was there, ladies, you got to buy it. It's not something I can order. So I will always be on the hunt, Brandy, but no, it's, but I told you, it's been 10 years before, I, since I've seen even something where I would stop for the quality even. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm just glad a lot of you ladies added some of these gemstones. Because I, I show you so many gemstones, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, common, common. But there's so many times you've already seen ladies, right, where I can't get stuff anymore, you know? And it's getting harder and harder, which I'm just like, what's going to happen? I mean, I make beautiful silver, but the gemstone, okay, we just changed a collection to bring this back in, the Tempest Fugit, because ladies, this bracelet was on fire. And so anyway, we are going to be bringing back um, another collection because it's not pink, it's not purple, it's just this gorgeous magenta purple. Like, it, it's just got all the gorgeous colors, right, in it. Because Xanadu, I can't do Xanadu anymore either. Mm. So, yeah. So, so, so the beautiful. bracelet is the pink vapor with the pure pink topaz and the Tempest Fugit. And it will fit a 5.75 to a 7.5 inch wrist. Look at the beadwork on those wire. I, I just love these little uh, ear wires. And did you see the little spray down the side? We use that same, do you see that little, all the little uh, filigree wires, the granulation work on the sides? See how it's gonna match back? So that's that same gemstone in there. It's the pure pink. Uh, and this is topaz, these are quartzes. Yeah, so pretty. Okay, um, oh, don't forget, um, yeah, your stack bracelets because, um, this is, you know, this might be your look where you do two silvers and you put your gemstone right in the middle like that. So um, I'm, I'm definitely going to bring this one in too. Where did I put that one? I didn't, that's coming up uh, on one of my trays, but it's your next this one, I have two sizes in this one too. It's your next tray, I think, so let me find it. The scalloped one? Oh. No, the scalloped watermark. I thought you were talking about the tip to tip. Oh yeah, the scalloped watermark was on this one. And it's so beautiful. So we do have two sizes in the scallop. We have a size six, seven, five, fitting a six to seven inch wrist. See your tension. And we have a seven and a half, fitting a seven to a seven, seven, five. And you have those on special for one seventy nine ninety nine. And just so everyone's aware, on the smaller size, the six, seven, five, we only had a couple left going into the show. So okay. That's really lovely. Yeah, this one, um, we're trying to get more. Like this is one that I want to keep in stock all the time. Um, so um, if we're if we are, I, I need to do an order. So that would be yeah. I think we're, we're probably, I think we're in March of next year to get things now. So um, yeah, it would be something I would be carrying in my collection um, all the time though, because it's it's just it's oh hello the glamour necklace. Okay, how can I forget that sitting here? And oh my gosh, we are not gonna not show this bead again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, I know. how many times, ladies, have you asked me to show this bead? Okay, I, as, I am so sorry. Um, 386, okay, it is the big 12 millimeter bead. What is this bracelet? Why does it go with everything? Like, it's crazy. Our tur This looks so good with our Sleeping Beauty turquoises and all of those. It, like, it goes with so many different, uh, the Sweet Tart turquoise, like, it is just that bracelet. That is just gorgeous, gorgeous. So, I mean, look at look at how it pulls all the different colors. But how can you put like browns and have it work, right? It does, it just works. Like, you were gonna pull this bracelet and wear it so much, it cracks me up. Donna Kelly said, a party on your wrist. Right? <laughs> bling, bling, bling. <laughs> okay, so now we will go back to the Glamour necklace. So this is just a really beautiful long layering necklace that you can uh, wear and every single one, and this is one that should be like at least $4.99, even, at, even on my website, ladies, truly, but it's been my customer appreciation piece. I just want to get this on everybody because it's not something I can do all the time. We're always working on making new rings all the time. And so it's kind of a course, like staple to my collection. But 
it's the beads. And so there, it's just, it, and it's perfectly imperfect. Like every single one has kind of a different shape, different size, um, where I, I tend to be matchy matchy with my patterns. This came out and it just works. And um, I wear mine as a lariat style all the time. But you can just wear this as just a really gorgeous little necklace like this for a layering length. So I'm gonna show you, I, I'm gonna have to come out because I gotta show you. Um, it's just really fun to wear. So I'll take my little uh, chain off. But it is, it, it is just one that you will get so much use out of. And if you have some magnet and extenders from me, you can add them on and get a little bit of a, more of a look because some of you ladies did layer it as a choker, but if you're into that shorter style, you can double it like this, um, but that would be more of the choker style or you add one of those um, magnet enhancers just for a little bit of extra length. But this one, just to wear it, just as like a, a layering piece like this with a necklace, it completely works like this, okay? But I wanna show you how pretty it is if you do this also. So you can just do this and wear it up to where, see where you get like a little bit of a dangle if you have an open neck? Kind of just really pretty because all the rings are detailed. There's a little gem at the end like this, but the way I wear it the most, always, Actually, I know, I, I'm so predictable. If you see this on me, I'm always wearing it as the Lariat necklace, okay? So I like to wear it like this, and that's always how I wear mine. So I put it right next to the big bead, and I wear it like this, okay? So here, I guess I can, oh, this is another necklace. Actually, I guess I can show this one on. Um, I'll show this one, so I'll take that one off real quick. So the Glamour Necklace Oops. Chanel is a 28-inch necklace on special for $2.93. Okay. And then they can use their 10% off coupon. And Carla Brooks has it and says she wears it almost every day. It's one of her go-to layering pieces. I know. It, it's just one of those great little pieces that you will just, like, get so much use out mm -hmm. of it. And um, you really can, um, because of the way the rings are, too, you can actually put a magnet enhancer on it also. So that does work. My nose. It's I'm like starting warm. to, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? here? But see, you can also do this with the longer and add your enhancers onto it like this too. So it, it's just, have fun with it, ladies. It's just, again, one of those prices, we always try to do a really great price on it for you, but it would be a $4.99, but no, where I came from, my background, it, it was always $9.99, mm -hmm. point nine nine. Yeah, <laughs> that's just, because I only did a couple necklaces, but I, just like bracelets, I love designing and engineering like a really well-made functional piece of jewelry, something that you'll have like in your jewelry box forever. These are like, these are my passion pieces and I'll just work and work them until I get them just perfect for you. Um, so there's gonna be the glamour necklace. I'm gonna put the other one, my next tray under. And I feel like I'm probably, like I feel like we might have to save one of the trays because Mickey, we got, I gotta get my crew out quick today. So we're only gonna definitely spend only two hours with you today. Um, Brandy Hahn was asking yeah. about the scallop bracelet. Yeah. Have you made that in other motifs? I did. I That one I actually did in a chain link and hammered. I did a Chanel Adair. I did the watermark. I didn't do frangipani. So I did three, three different motifs okay. in that. And I created some other ones where I incorporate stones onto it also. So um, you'll, you'll see me doing that a lot. Like I'll do an all silver piece and go, oh my gosh, it's so good. We, we gotta add some gemstones. And then I redesign it for you. And Jennifer was wondering about larger sized agate beads. Are they gonna be coming soon? Larger stone agates. Larger size. Larger size in agates. Yeah, so maybe. we have, um, I'm doing all some big chunky jewelry, some lighter jewelry, but if, she, if she's referring to the, the stretch bracelets. Stretch bracelets. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have, we got the green one in. Uh, we, now did, did we get multiple sizes in this or only one size again? Not one size. 
I know we're we're so the team that orders the bracelets are different than us so when we sold out of it we were supposed to start to incorporate sizes and I think we don't have that quite in tune yet because <laughs> they don't know we're out of them so we we got to figure that out for you because literally the same size came back in but we didn't get the other ones so uh there's still a few little kinks that were um being a small team that we're trying to work through so um yes uh, but I don't know what size you were looking for yeah, she but didn't say. this is a good actually this I like that they did this this is actually bigger than it was so we did size it up a little bit but there's only one size so if the other one was a little small I think this one's probably fitting up to probably a six and a quarter six and a half maybe what what is this one? Uh, you know what's funny to me is I'm gonna look on the website because I put I put it's a feet. six seven five. Well, they, usually we did a six and a half. Yeah, it, it's on, just a little bigger. They weren't originally on the show plan. They came in today. Remember, yeah. I just got. I know. Them. So I grabbed I them, them, but they aren't on my paperwork. <laughs> well, and I'm gonna show you this one I'll because look up on yes. The website. So we are ordering some of the bigger ones. There is a lot. It's I gotta a tell you, six and a half. Okay, it fits up to a six and a half. Oh, no, it's a six and a half inch, and it will fit a five, two, five to a six, to a seven. six, seven, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. yep. So, um, we did get, yeah, these are the, um, and so just so you know, if you see terminologies, agate, green onyx, carnelian, they're all kind of in that same kind of material. So, what is kind of cool here is when you start to see some of those, um, agates, that's carnelian is an agate. So, you're really getting something pretty spectacular here. Like I, 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 I love all the different patternings, but it's almost impossible to make jewelry out of the banded like this um, and getting matches. That was a disaster we tried over and over. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I just kept trying. Um, but yeah, the, some of my tubs where I have tubs and tubs of stones where it was like, we attempted, but there's no way it's ever yeah. going to work be because I can't get anything to match. <laughs> like, I couldn't <laughs> even get one pair, like, to match. So, oh, and so I think I'll show this one because this is my other lariat style that I wear all the time, too, because I love a lariat. And so I'll, this one is my favorite to wear with my new beginnings, okay, because then it gives me the bali by my neck, but you saw that then I can literally um, wear the more dainty with my open neckline but then I still get a really cool layering look on it. And look at, look at this. I mean, it's, it's, again, it's just every part about it. See, these are two pieces that we solder, we put together. So we make two different pieces. Like it's, it's again, top, top heirloom. And this is just a really cool little button that literally press and the, the, the chain slides in. Okay. So you can do it up really tight to your neck or you can do it. So it's kind of fun if you have like a night out that you want to do something like this too. Um, it literally, you could wear a regular dress, do that, and it would be your outfit, right? Um, but I like to do this. And today before the show, I did the black um, rhodium lotus. I've been wearing it all week. It's so funny, all the girls are like, I love that, I love that, I love that. So um, I took that off before the show because we didn't have it on the show today. So um, that's, that was my look all day. So that's why I grabbed this and we stuck it on the show because it's my look. Okay, so let's go back over to the tray. And um, don't forget this little baby, right? So that's another really amazing necklace. So I'll show that one at the very end and then I'll tray that on because it's so pretty doubled. Ladies, it's, it's truly meant to be doubled or wore long. And I almost started the show, but guess what? We literally only had one left because what happened is we oversold them last time and took all of our QAs. You ladies actually got them. So we are working on doing a few more. It's a small handful of what we have left right now. Uh, but again, these take so long to make. So it, okay, I said I would do it at the end. Let me show you all the coordinating pieces first, <laughs> okay? Because you're getting roses in here. You're getting frangipani. You're getting like a daisy. Like, and these are reversible. So you see you get the watermark with the frangipani. You're getting different um, pieces. That's going to go back with all my floral jewelry that I do. So you saw this really great little ring. Love this little band. And you saw how great it off-centers all the jewelry. 
Oh yeah, so I'm, I've been wearing the Amalite the whole time too. I'm going to the Calcini because I love this ring. I'm gonna start with this mm -hmm. because it's, it is truly so beautiful. So there's the green onyx, here's the Chalcedonies, and there's gonna be this really kind of transparency to it, and that's what I, I, I go for the dreamy Chalcedony. Um, to where when you, you're in the light, it's going to literally kind of um, get this translucent glow to it. Um, I really go for the heart of the quality of the stone, and that's what I use in all my jewelry. Um, and so anyway, so look at this. He's so cute. But yeah, this little gallery, just the entire shape. I just love this. And to me, it's a really great little balancer, you know, for like when I stack my rings and stuff. This is what I always say my perfect little size. Unless you're getting that stack set and you wear two thin ones, it's always great. That's such a good look too. And then, um, so the roses from God is going to go back to my beautiful cross roses collection, okay? So you can intermix all these collections together. And um, this is my top selling collection. It will never go away. I will always try to keep some kind of stock. Right now we actually have all sizes, which is fabulous. Um, but this is just that one. We all have a memory, right? Like, or it, save for gifting. This is gifted so much because why would you go buy roses for somebody if you're gonna go get a bottle of wine and you're gonna buy roses and pop over to somebody's house or you know, you're gonna eat multiple gifts, why would you not get something that's never gonna fade away? You know, I mean, this that's why I think this collection, we always try to bring it in at some really amazing show specials. You have the ring at a show special tonight and probably for less than what it would cost for a dozen roses. <laughs> uh, $59.99, Janelle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, everything's priced up, right? I like, know. what happened when we used to get like a dozen roses for $19.99? Yeah, no. It doesn't happen in this world anymore, right? So, yeah, I mean, these are like one of those things. Now, especially when gifting, seven, eight are the most common sizes. Somebody usually has a seven or an eight on their hand somewhere. And that means, yes, could somebody even wear that as a pinky? Absolutely. Oh, you saw this, is my favorite little pinky ring. You see? Um, and this, this, oh, I gotta show this one because it's so cool. See, you can, see how you underlap it, okay? I love it like that. So I always buy one that's a little bigger, then I underlap it like that so this sticks up a little bit more. And I just love it on the side so people see that little side profile. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love that little ring. Just, just for a pinky ring because see, it's graduated so it's super comfortable too. Okay, sorry, I'm on the roses. Okay, did I measure it? I think you did, but okay. it's always good for a second. And then you can see the size difference, right? On that too. But I have other coordinating pieces on the site. Um, put rose cross. What if you put rose cross in? Does the other stuff pop up uh, on that too? But yeah, I would say do the special, like, like the ones that we have, and then collect the other ones. Because I will eventually bring up all the other ones, you know, when I do shows live. Um, I always try to do a special price on some of them. So, like, for sure, I wouldn't even look at the other things that I've got because this one is, um, do you have that yet, ladies? Because it is one of those pieces you will wear so much. You, it, it just, the quality, probably this bracelet, because it's over 40 grams, again, but it doesn't wear like 40 grams, like every part of it. It's literally a filigree bracelet that we did. Then we onlaid all of the detail, the roses and the leaves and it, the, even the inside gallery. But my bracelets, unlike you know a lot of other bracelets, I really do a lot of work making sure these are really cushioned. And this, these, this inside gallery is all separate pieces that we put together. And then put, that way you have that breathability when you're wearing bracelets too. And they're smooth and just silky. That's it. Look at this. I hit it though. Sorry. But it was so good. I had to do it in an invisible setting. So just always remember where you're putting it on so you know how to put it. On. Yep. It's right there. And so I always put it on my wrist like this. Right? Because, oh look at, oh I gotta take this off. Because look how pretty it is with the pink. Oh my gosh, right? And we have two sizes in the roses from God bracelet. We have a 675 fitting a six or a 5.75 to a 675 wrist. 
and we have a 775, which is going to fit a 675 to a 775 wrist. One forty nine ninety nine. This is the special on those. Well, okay, I'm going to take the pinks off because that is time. Uh, I want to do a bunch of this look because I really loved the green, the red, and then you see all the the sparkle of the other stones. I just thought this was a really crisp, awesome kind of summer look, right? Fourth of July coming up. Yeah. Are you going to wear something really sophisticated for Fourth of July and kind of do your red, white, and then put some blue on? Um, so I definitely wanted to bring that red, white. It's red, white, and green, but I'd say no. Change, change out to your blues. But I love this, like for summer. To me, that's always crisp and really pretty. Um, now this is the ring I've been wearing the whole time, right? So this is those really beautiful statement rings, and I have an eight on. I've been, it's been flopped around on my size seven, but yes, yeah, it was supposed to go there. Um, but you even saw it, even with the seven. See, I would say it sizes. Um, but it's my eight and this is my eight finger and it's just going to be really beautiful in when they're fitted like that they're you won't have them flopping around because most people that design have these top heavy like this where it doesn't fit and they flop around but the inside gallery is what's going to adhere where it's just going to just kind of um, suction to your finger a little bit but in a comfortable way like it's like that weighted blanket, I always say, my rings. But just, it's my snuggy hug to you, um, and you're gonna love it. And the amylite is just so interesting, because it's a fossil. Like, literally, the, it kind of came out of the ground, and you saw op uh, um, amylite opal is what they'll call it a lot because of the process of what happens with the colors. But literally, the greens turn to yellows, the reds turn to green. You see how they all change? That is a natural phenomenon that goes on, um, you know, thousands of years under the ground that amylite fossilized and the water got trapped and all these minerals started coming through the ground and started to form this opalization underneath the earth. I mean, and, and can you imagine somebody who, like, I always laugh about that. Can you imagine finding that? Like, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Like, yeah. It's like when they found Tanzanite. It's like, this is <laughs> something cool. <laughs> I've won the lotto. But yeah, it's like, it, it is, and it's mesmerizing. I mean, ladies, we love our amylite, don't we? And I was never able to get my hands on the ones that have the red and the blue. Um, and until just recently where I like was in the industry long enough to hook up with a guy, I get it direct. So he basically, he is the guy in Canada, because these are the, the, the Canadian, the, the, the top, top quality um, analytes. Yeah, pretty incredible. The Roses of God um, ring, true to size, do you know? True to size. Yeah, yeah, you buy true to size, true to size, true to size. All of the rings on this tray, true to size. And I think the other ones that I showed also. Yep. And Robin was wondering about the Frangipanium Roses bracelet, if that's going to be coming back. The frangipani. Will you bring back the frangipanian roses? Oh my gosh. Is she talking the, about that also? Oh my gosh, the Good it? Shepherd. She's talking about the Good Shepherd bracelet. Oh. So actually, you know what? Something came through down so I, I I like actually the QAs came in or the bolt. Can you check on that? Yeah. Because I was like, I had asked for it and then something like popped up and I was like, so, because that was a bracelet we never stopped working on, and then when I asked for it, so I think it, yeah, so that one I have been working on. So, yes, but I think it might just be the QAs, which means it could be like two months, okay? See, do you see where the light kind of hits it, and you're going to see that translucence with that, um, with the Chalcedony? So I just, yeah, I just love the Chalcedony. Do you see the luxury of this bracelet too, right? The quality, again, look at that. Just gorgeous, right? Did I show you the inside of this too? It's super low profile, but just, you know, you ladies that might be starting with a statement ring. Maybe you're like too shy to start the, here. Try one of the lower profile ones like this, and you'll realize the difference that I put in design into the rings. Especially you ladies that always complain like you don't like your hands. Get a longer ring. Trust me, you're going to love your hands again because you're going to be looking at the jewelry all the time going, 
somebody is making that for me and it feels like they made it to fit me perfectly. It's like, don't you just like when you find somebody or some designer and you're like, she gets me. Like she's hitting the bells and whistles. I'm you ladies, so I'm trying to hit the bells and whistles for us all. Because <laughs> I'm wearing it and loving it too. I want the best quality, I want a good fit, but I want a good price. I want the champagne merchandise, but I, I want to spend, you know, I, I, I need to stay within the beer budget, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Cal Sydney bracelet, Janelle, we have two sizes in that one. Yes. Um, so we have a six and a half fitting a five, seven, five to a six and a half inch wrist and a seven, two, five fitting a six, seven, five to a seven and a half inch wrist. Okay, look at, look at, see what I was saying, how fun. I'm loving the Cal Sydney. Mm -hmm. And the, I never put these two together, but I was like, oh my gosh, why are, have we not done this? But look how fun this would be, right? Like you ladies that don't want to do matchy-matchy. I mean, come on, that's fabulous. And the red I, I, will, I know ladies, we released a couple sizes. So if we didn't have your size before, I think we have one of each, that's it. And then it's gone. And yes, do we need to put it on reorder? We do, but we haven't <laughs> because we've, we've, we've lined too many other things on reorder for you. So pretty. And the uh, red coral bracelet is going to fit a 5.75 to an 8 inch wrist. And we had a question on the would do you feel like Bali High would be a good match with the green calcite? Oh my gosh, the Bali High looks good with everything. Yes, even the amylite. But yes, yes. Oh my gosh, because you get this color and this color on the Bali High when you move it. Mm. Do I have any Bali High hair today that you could see? I don't, I don't! Oh my gosh, I can't believe, like, I think you guys were telling me to quit putting it in every show. So, because I literally, <laughs> and, and really, we're getting down on sizes of stuff anyway. So, yes, oh my gosh, that would be so pretty. Who said that? That was Debbie Bruson. Oh my gosh, Debbie! Hi, oh my gosh, Debbie. That's, I love it, I love it. Oh, and don't forget, look at that. Look how fun that is. I love that. Right? I mean, I'm like, oh, fabulous. Oh my gosh, you I know like what I kind of like? What about the, uh, like even doubling the, maybe you do that and you wear that on one wrist even, you oh, know? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I also like the new green boots with the um, amylite too. I thought it was pretty. Oh, right, with the browns and the stuff that comes through. Oh, yeah. yeah, because you get so many of the different mm -hmm. colors, colors and yeah. stuff. It's kind of a different. And now the Amalite speaks for itself. It is gonna be prettier in person, but like anybody that's new that show, I, in, in popping in and visiting in, I hate to say that because it's like, it's, but it is, it's really hard to show the light. So it turns it brown constantly because mm -hmm. it's too like, wow, it's too, it's too infamous and it wants to like, hide its coloring but anyway you can see it's pretty incredible but like in person like you're like what and you're gonna see these layers how they're layered over top of each other too the coloring which is so incredible um okay so i want to kind of go to just a real sophisticated oh finally okay i gotta take this off the white ring came in ladies okay so this is its debut it finally came oh so i am I am so excited <laughs> that it came in because this was one of my favorite sets and I kept showing, saying it's coming, it's coming, but I redid it so much, um, that's what took so long. Because I kept going, oh, but I, oh, I want this, oh, but, and that's how I held it up, so that's why, so I am, apologize. But yeah. is that fabulous? I it is, $79.99 on the Jodo price. Wow. So a great deal. Great deal. See how great that is, like just having like, a, like one of those little rings. Oh, but you know what too? Ladies, think of this as a thumb ring too because it's really a good thumb ring. Look how pretty that is, right? Mm -hmm. Because people see your thumb, they're like, oh, what's going on with that ring? It looks like an engagement ring, oh, could be. Like with diamond, you know, like think of the diamond in this ornate work. Yeah, people are doing different kind of things. It's not so traditional anymore. You know, everybody's kind of picking their pieces. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so matching set, of course, I have to. Like, I just, it's in my DNA, I have to. Um, especially with white, bright, sparkly. This, I love this piece, I love this piece. Um, 
Yeah, I kind of did a little bit of a basket design, but the scalloping is on so many of my bracelets um, and different pieces that are gonna tie back. 30 years, that's kind of been my little signature filigree. And um, then this is all natural mother of pearl that I did because I, I just wanted to do something really, really clean and beautiful. Now everybody needs these. Yeah. These little studs are so cute. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe I should try that on with this. So I'll do that. But, oh, and um, also too, um, ladies, you know, the red Madeira, we finally got this bracelet in. Okay, so um, I wanted to bring both of the red Madeiras that we had left because the red Madeira is just so beautiful. And so I have two styles, just a few left in each. I always put citrine, see golden citrine, with red Madeira. So red Madeira, this you, what is beautiful, you're gonna see hues of a regular Madeira and then red that pops out. And this is a super rare stone. So you ladies that you already know about it that are gem geeks like myself, like it is just something that in my 30 years, the fact that I could find something so unusual and rare, like it's just so exciting. I mean, I just, my hair stands up all the time. I get so excited when I find things, but um, literally bought it, cut, recutting to get as many collections as I can to you. I did, I, I completely took over the, the rough. Like I was not gonna be like, I'm very sharing, very giving, but when I found something like that, I was like, I'm gonna tie this up, put it away, you know, put blankets over the top, I'm taking it all, like, yeah. I, I was like, what happened? What happened, you know? It's like, that's okay. It's okay not to share a gym show when you find something like this. <laughs> so anyway, I, it's very exciting to bring it to you. So um, we've got just a really cute little basic. If you want your little classic, everyday Goldilock, like, Give me that classic, I would do this, this piece. But if you want something really linear, edgy, cool, um, then go with this one. Okay, so yeah, it's the little filigree. Um, but both of them, really, really great little wearable size, right? Isn't that great? Okay, what do we got going on? Because I know I have sizes with this too, Michelle. You do, I just was, you had both in your hands, so I didn't yeah. want to get confused. So this one. So this one. Okay. So this one is a, a six two five fitting a five and a half to a six and a half. And then we also have it in a seven fitting a six to a seven inch wrist. Oh my gosh, I, I you know I designed the silver bracelet like this. Ladies, please look on the website. It's all a silver, just like mm -hmm. this in the watermark. Oh, I know. I designed the, the the silver first and then the gemstone so that you could wear them together, okay? Or wear your loved one another uh, bracelet with this. Um, and one of the ones that's like, the, this is just the best little bracelet ever. Like, again, need to do more gemstones, right, ladies? That would be great with the love of another um, tip to tip. If you wore it with the, you know, as a tip to tip. Okay. Oh, see, and it, it, they are, they're just like your little tip to tips will totally work. that one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like all of them work together. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't forget the bamboo because ladies, we're gonna be doing a, a pre-sale. We're gonna run out of these because I brought in a bigger size, remember, that you asked for. So we have this, but I did a matching spinner. We're gonna bring the spinner back on pre-sale. So that's not gonna be for another month though, right? So that you've got your press button closure, your retention. So definitely wanna get your bracelet, right? So that when we do this, the, the spinner, it is luxury. This is gonna be that piece that elevates everything that you have and so pretty, right? It's just, it's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at that, with the little leaves. That's cool. It's a good unisex one too. I like oh, that. right? Yes, yeah, right. his and her, we've got sizes. We have True. two sizes. We have a 6.75 fitting a 5.75 to a 6.75 wrist. We have a seven and a half, fitting a six and a half to a seven and a half inch wrist. And those are marked at one seventy nine ninety nine. And then don't forget we have live 10 for 10% 10 off. Okay, we are going on a safari, ladies, because I, when I theme, I dress in a theme all the time. So I'm like, I'm doing a theme. I'm doing a theme tray. And I'm gonna sneaky peek this right away because ladies, my elephant collection, if you have that, I did a regular, my biggest, like, 
This is luxury, luxury, my tip to tip. So I did it in the same gemstone as the elephants, okay? So it's going to be that exact, but we're gonna announce a pre-sale because we don't have it on site. I just had to show you, um, but that's going to be a week and a half out. We will make sure we announce two days before, please, okay? Because we have two sizes that we're bringing in on it, okay? So I really thought this is so fun. I wanted to have our elephant bracelet and this together with your elephants, right? So I wanted to design an all silver so that you could wear all your elephants together, okay? Can I go ahead and go over the sizes so they'll know? Yes. It, okay. Yes, yes. So they're two sizes, a 675 fitting a six to seven inch wrist, and then we're gonna have a seven and a half fitting a 675 to a 775. And I'm assuming we're gonna bring it in at Jodo, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. that will be oh. $149.99. What? Will be the price on that. The, this one? The. Oh my gosh, do you know what Jodo, yeah, I did at the Jodo? Oh my gosh. This is, oh that is so good, okay. Oh yeah, this, this is that, um, oh I'm so excited for you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that way they know. And ladies, I'm gonna keep uh, using it till, uh, she says no more until she, she's almost retired, but she is the only one who will do this mosaic mother of pearl. And I love the cream because the cream, it's like literally white, it's not yellow. I wanted to do just a really beautiful neutral that will pick up. So you can wear this with your yellows, your creams, your whites, because it has all of it going on, see? So pretty, so pretty. Um, so it's just so cute, right? Do you see the little elephants? Do you see his little, see his little trunks of every single little, little guy. We literally put one on every single one. And, and, and it's so cute. Look at, see the little filigree and then these are set on. And then you see his little trunk where we bezel set him. So it's bezel set and then we, we kind of, yeah, this is hard. This so is really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Really hard to it's do. Amazing. My elephants, you notice I do this almost, it's thicker and whiter because like I make it look like it's vines. It's you know, like a jungle. So you'll notice on a lot of my galleries on the elephants, I do that. Oh, you know what I did want to bring in? Okay, I wanted to show you the difference between the, this is the colossal elephant and that's the, the size difference, okay? So we only have four of him left, okay, in the colossal elephant right now. So this is the colossal one, which is a bit bigger. Okay, and he is about three and a half inches, yeah? And 26 grams, it's a bracelet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, you know, and this was my very first elephant, which still, like, I just love his ears. I just, mm -hmm. I just love it. See the little heart that's here. Um, I love his little nose. Um, and I love the Alpha Omega. And that's why I did that one in like a bar hinge a little bit different. And again, with him, you know, I did all the little flat jaw one, but then still, like you have to have those. But see his little trunk here too. See how beautiful that is. And the elephant pendant is $89.99. And the pendant enhancer, the Colossal Elephant is $99.99. Okay, $89 and $99, mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so that will show you both. But I do have the exact matching earrings with him, okay? So that's just really cute. Like, I just love, so you don't have to go matchy-matchy. Maybe you do these with it, right? Um, but for sure, 100%, you need the bracelet. Like, I gotta, I gotta do that one. Let me take the roses off. And he is just too fun, right? Too fun. We have one size in him. He is a size seven, fitting a six to seven and a quarter mm -hmm. for one nineteen ninety nine. And Lynn was asking if he's going to be coming back in a smaller size. Oh, okay. I know we're getting a, 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 the elephants. I kind of did all together. Um, I, do, I don't have him scheduled because this has been that <laughs> size that I've ran forever because everybody uses their smaller bangles. And he's always just been a looser bangle, you know? Mm -hmm. And it like for me, I, I wear this one too, cause I have it like a six inch wrist. 
So I just always stack my, my more fitted bangles around him and wear him in the middle all the time. So um, it fits a very large size range. Because I think we say size six, six up to seven and a quarter, I to think. To seven and a quarter. Yeah. You passed. So he, it's mm -hmm. kind of that range that seems to fit so many people. But no, I, I mean, yeah, if we were to bring him back, it's, it, it's going to be a lot of work because he is, talk about blinged out. Do you see the little watermark, flat jaw one? Like there is everything. Look, look at his little headdress. Look at even, see, I, I had to make sure that those, we soldered those clothes so that doesn't get caught on your clothes. And like, I mean, just every part of them is so blinged out, right? Uh, Gina was wondering in regards to the mosaic, will it flake off or is something over it to protect no, it? No, no, this is, um, no, these are all um, on laid onto something and then literally, um, polished over so I mean I can never say never like if something I don't know the environment is different things but no no this is these are definitely done to last no so you ever had issues yeah I mean you just reach out to me because the quality that I use like I said there's one person the quality that we do on these mm -mm. yeah it's yeah it's it's quite a process It'd have to take somebody really smashing, but mother of pearl, think about it. If something like came, any kind of things going to, you know, depending on what happens, but no, no, not like, like, you know, your tiled walkway, you know, it's like you have tile and it holds up, right? Um, but these are the things like you're not going to soak any mother of pearl, any coral, anything that has porous and is a natural, like, um, stone you don't want to be putting those oh I forgot him uh, into soaking him in jewelry solutions mm -hmm. I am so sorry I forgot about my little guy no see how good he is too so yeah no I mean that would be Doreen was wondering about a lobster claw bracelet with the elephants with the size of the elephants being the earring didn't we used to have a trunk to trunk elephant bracelet like oh that oh gosh mm -hmm. a long cute. time ago I thought the all silver one. Oh my gosh, have? like I could almost design it from here. Like, at, so, because I'm so matchy matchy, right? Oh, oh my wow. gosh. Bar, like, yeah. oh my gosh, with, with the adjustable rings. Uh oh. Uh oh. We could. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. I know. Do elephants have some more things going on here? Um. Okay, so we've got another one here. So these are really great. These are just just some really fun. Um, and this these are my elephants that I have done the whole time that are in the okay. I have to put the keep this together because wait till you see this, ladies. So this necklace, who does not have this necklace yet? And why? Because it is fabulous. Like it is literally safari. So this is like the zebra uh it, it like giraffe like all of the kind that's why I call it animal print because I'm like I knew I was starting to design jewelry that was going to go with all this see look at is that amazing so all of these will go on it but I have this little guy here actually you know what I designed him first actually no I designed a different one first this was my second elephant that was my third then the colossal was my fourth but I think on that original elephant you know I thought I think you had it all silver bracelet where they were like trunk to trunk to trunk or you know like leading each oh, other like trunk to tail not trunk with to him tail. but yes i did Something he was like on that. the little flat jaw one remember oh, i did yes, all his yeah. little skin and then we set, we had to yeah. sand all the flat jaw ones down so it looked like real elephant skin uh, yeah yeah i remembered something like yeah. that yeah we had that one yeah so bds 423 is the necklace i mean he could be a bracelet too but i see i don't like when they don't always match Mm -hmm. And then I have the safari bracelet too that I did too that has the elephant oh, yeah. kind of theme song too. The bangle. Mm -hmm. So, um, so the necklace, Janelle, uh, the an so animal good. neck print BDS four twenty three, and that is a twenty four inch necklace. Twenty four. See, you know how I was doing some different lengths, ladies. Oh, it is so good, but 
look how classy that this is. What do I do with all the bracelets? Because I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. So pick like, yeah, thicker or thinner. So you want to go the thicker beads. Look at this, it matches exactly. And we have sizes. So this is going to fit everybody because we have sizes in the stretch. But sometimes matching like this is appropriate. I'm talking like this is going to look like you went to the super high-end department store. Then you add some of these to it. Oh my gosh. Like to me, I would do the, the mother of pearl. Like to me, that's money right there, right? That's pretty. But yeah, if you want to do the thinner bracelet, the thinner ones, I tend to wear this size more. I, I, this is an eight millimeter, these are 10 millimeters. And then you saw the other ones and the other beads were 12 millimeters. But I, I'm still loving the eights, but I know you ladies love your tens and, and some twelves, but it's really hard. Um, yeah, it, to, to carry all of them, I gotta tell you. Like it takes up so much space in our office. Like these really, it's like, holy Toledo. We need more space. Uh, Jennifer was wondering, if, with, with the hooks on the beaded necklace, mm -hmm. would you be able to hook two of them together? Just with the way the bead is, the class. With these? Oh yeah, each one has a left and a right. So, so like, if you yeah. got two of these, it would be this and this. So you would just hook them in. Okay. Yeah, so you could absolutely get a super long, oh yeah. Ooh, wow, yes. Mm -hmm. How much is this necklace? That one is... $119.99. Oh my gosh, get two. Are you kidding me? There's no way. If you, did, like and in a high-end department store, this would be... I mean, trust me, this is all on silk and knotted. Like these, this is, oh, that's so good. And Live 10 gives them an additional 10% oh, off. No, get two, and please. if you spend two fit, or 200, which you would be, you would get the um, cross pendant. Wow. No, that's, yeah, really. Lots of good deals. Okay, let's go into our mother of pearl because um, I love this. I, this is like my best collection I've ever done. And yeah, doesn't that just, sometimes we need to like just kind of dream. It, as, it, it, when we were little, right, didn't, you know, we had our little storybooks and our different things. And yeah, I think this brings out the, that not skeptical side of us, but that, that dreaming side that we used to have when we were young and innocent, right? And he is on Jodo, $89.99. For the pendant? For the pendant. Okay. The matching ring is $69.99 and the bracelet $119.99. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That's like, yeah. And you know what? With the mother of pearl, actually this neck, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's get rid of, let's like stop the elephants now and let's do a, how about just like, I don't know. Like if I did that, I would probably do like a I don't know, maybe you're not a pendant girl, but you're like a total bracelet girl, you know? So you're gonna kind of stack them up. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. And maybe you're more into some of the other, like right there, right? Mm -hmm. And what if now you take, like I like a little texture of a chain too, right? So this, this is like one of our, now we only have one size in this one, but this is that. Doing life together. I love this. I got to bring more because ladies, I love doing life together with you. So, and for me, God. So like God and my fellowship of, you know, like it is. And I love that we can say that. I kind of feel like it's one of our Bali Babe scenes. Like I, I always go, I'm doing life together with my team. But look how easy this is going to be because see, it's a magnet. See how it's like trying to hook onto it, boom. This yeah, you is definitely the, need that one in a larger size. Oh my gosh, I know, see, we always made two sizes, but we did one size, and so we really brought it in at a special price. So if I made the other one, this one is so expensive, I couldn't have done as low as the price as I did, but I know everybody else wants the other sizes, I get it, but like literally it's really hard not to tear the prices that's why you see this one ladies if this one if i bring the other sizes back i have to balance it and you will it will have to be a higher price okay so that's the only thing so if this is your size like give it now because i will have to average that because 
there is so much silver and so much labor because this is completely oval so it's flat that's why everybody loves it so much it's so comfortable on your skin and um rare earth magnets so most comfortable magnet you're, you're ever like but strongest magnet in the world it's kind of like our elephants right like yeah it's like elephant strong mm -hmm. and that's gonna fit a five and a half to a six and a half inch wrist 179.99 oh my gosh see like okay so here i go so this is yeah like mm -hmm. this is what i gotta do because this is how i would like these are my days sometimes that i that i'll do stuff like this and i love a big big statement ring like that so that might be right like that so there's the little ring that goes to it and this is that just that like so hard to design a ring that is actually going to be on and comfortable and and get this whole thing i had to tell you the, the ring i probably leave the ring out of the collection next time like that was hard to nail um but this ladies don't forget your statement rings like this look how low profile that is look at that and the inside, like it is curved to fit every size. I am so excited. We just got this back in stock. So we actually have all your sizes. It's just, it's my like more architectural spoon ring, but like just high designer spoon ring. Are both of those adjustable? Yes, this totally is like fully, see, you can open it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can space it out more too. Um, this one, yeah, but not too much with this kind of band. Uh -huh. Yes, you can. It, it's not soldered, but this one, I'm. It's so just designed the way it is. Please get your 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 size and fit. But yeah, it's like, can you pull it out? Yes, you can. But I I don't want you constantly changing that one. It's like, it it's just perfectly made right now. But yes, you can. See, because I didn't solder it, so it has it has you're able to do that. Thank you, Tanya, for uh -huh. asking for the ladies. So, yeah, any other questions? Because I, I feel like I've been talking too much again. I really Linda, want to make sure we get the questions. Yeah, in. Linda was asking um, for matching pieces to the White Mother of Pearl Hummingbird Enhancer. I don't think we have White Mother of Pearl. You know, the little hummingbird enhancer, the carved, the flower. Oh, the mother of pearl piece. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, we I didn't did. Think we were. They we did the smaller pieces way back. We can't get them to carve the piece. That was it. The smaller pieces. There was so much intricate, and it made the shell because it was so detailed. It it's just I really try to do something, and I I test things, and I I know that that's why we we only have that one to go with it but try our other silver hummingbird piece items with it it's so pretty mm -hmm. we have some really beautiful all silver that you can mix with that pendant these oh but hello any of our mother of pearl mm -hmm. get some of the other ones mm -hmm. so it's still you could do the mother of, uh, the all silver hummingbird earrings maybe and then do just a mother of pearl bracelet that's a good idea. That, that could be an option. Mm -hmm. And then Ray was asking if you would <coughs> ever be able to bring celestial pieces with black mother of pearl instead of white. Um, we did carve on the black mother of pearl and it deadened in areas. Like the, mm -hmm. the white is uh, more carvable, but that the Tahitian mother of pearl one, it, uh, when you go too deep, it's, it's really hard. Like we do the dahlia. We're able to get oh, that, yeah, that's but cool. that is a rarity. And like ladies on those kind of questions, I don't put the price it really should be because they're ones that literally, yeah, there's some stuff I don't really make any money on stuff because I want you to have things that I know that aren't going to be around forever. Okay. But yeah, so anyway. And Terry. Terry was wondering in regards to the Amalite and red Madeira citrine bracelets. They're gone. Might they ever come back? Which one? Amalite with citrine. <gasps> the red it. Madeira. No, yeah. that now that one, because that was the big ones, the big stones. Mm -hmm. I would only be able to do, um, we talked about that, like actually bring it back. The rest of what I cut up was eight by six in the red. So it would have to be the eight by six. Um, so I think we're talking about, yeah, it's gonna change just a little bit. But 
because we love it. And some of my team didn't get it. And both <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we, we need it too. So yes, we've had discussions. And then we're trying to fit in. I have so many new things that I planned out, but we got to get some other things that you ladies want. Um, but I mean, for me, I'm realizing you want to fill your collections in on things, so I'll do it. But I would just continuously do new all the time. Uh, so I realize you want some reorders. So we are trying to pick some up for you, okay? And then we had a couple of questions about the, the uh, U, U color, the 20 inch U color. And that is on pre sale oh, right now. The, so, oh, the U yeah. color. So that is available if you search for that on the website or if you go to our pre sale page, which is in the drop down from featured, you'll be able to uh, place an order for that if you're looking for that. Do you know that this pendant has so much silver in it? <laughs> it is pretty incredible. But this, this, okay, ladies, we ran out of bracelets. They were all sold out. We put two of each. That's all we got. Mm -hmm. So they were sold out. So I hope you're lucky enough to get one of them. Um, but no, we will not be bringing this one back. If we do, we're going to bring the other one because we had too many requests. So what we have on that, uh, can we actually say how many rings were left? So people in pendants and earrings, because it was getting down there. So it give you an idea of how many we have left. So Okay. So the bracelet's probably the bracelet. after tonight gone. Right, and the, and then we have two sizes. We have a size seven fitting a six seven five to a seven and a half. We have a size seven and a half fitting a six seven five to a. Oh, oh, I have the fits wrong on my page. Okay, I'll get those. Uh, and that is on Jodo, Janelle, one ninety nine ninety nine. So we re oh, or released yeah. the last ones. Yeah. At Jodo. Let um, me look at the fits. That oh, I didn't put oh, a magnet on this one. Oh no. The um. Okay, um, so the bracelet, sorry, size seven will fit a six to a six seven five. Size seven and a half will fit a six seven five to a seven and a half inch wrist. Okay. And then the pendant, we Look only have this. ten left. Somebody actually was wearing this, like they put their pendant on oh, there. Oh, it was such a cool pick. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. So the oh, don't forget my blessed bracelet too. There's Okay, so you did give the amount, so yeah, there, 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 there's still a, a little bit of quantity, especially in the ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yeah. ring I ordered the most of, though, because everybody, like, this signet ring is beyond fabulous. Like, people are going to think you paid so much money for this guy. He's so good. And just to be clear, Anne Helen was asking, is the Panther set not coming back? Or no, is? this is not. It is not. But I designed so. four other pieces. The earrings we're not going to bring back on the other one, but there's a ring, a uh, bracelet, and a, you know, it has the panther, the big pan, the actual, um, it, we're going to bring back those on a pre-sale only. Okay. So, no, these are all, that's going to be it. Um, and then maybe once a year, you know, um, we'll give it a year rest, maybe at holiday if enough people ask for it. Um. But yeah, some of these pieces I've had up for a long time, so we're just to fit everything kind of in for the year. Um, okay, so. Michelle Shepard said the blessed bracelet is her favorite. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, actually. And then did you? No, I'm doing the blue tray. Okay. Oh. I do have one question. The uh, adjustable uh, ring that you had on the Ooh. Uh, Ooh, sorry. display of strength, would you ever do that in uh, tree of life motif. Which one? Which the one? The display of strength ring. That you just, uh, the adjustable one. Okay, this one in... Yeah, like a tree of life motif. I didn't do it in tree of life, but I actually did it in chain link. I did it in hammered, but I, tree of life, ooh. Because I already designed them, but I've never launched them. It would be good, but right now I've got so like my artisans are waiting for orders on things that they designed two, three years ago to do to cut. And sometimes I have to make it kind of fair. I'm not sure if I could only because I only launched two or one. Yeah, I could though, and I think it's beautiful. It would be beautiful. It would be really beautiful. But you know what? Um, so I would do maybe the inlay one. I wouldn't do it the domed though, because I like the low profile of this. Like, to mm -hmm. me, it is so comfortable. I've done some, anyway, 
I don't need to design that right here. Okay. So anyway, well, you're that's here, okay. You know, oh the yeah, yeah. Necklace that you're wearing. That I visually, is with, I go there. I have to visually go there, ladies. Like when you ask me questions, and it's that side of me. I apologize. Okay. The long necklace that you're wearing yes. is a 20 inch with a two inch extender. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We just had a question on the left. Oh, yes, that is. Um, and you know what? Speaking of, um, I never did get to get the uh, roses mm. from God. So I want to do this because see how pretty it is just like this? I mean, this, this is a necklace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hands down, we should be selling this. And the store would have this for 2000 Every single piece, they're double-sided, they have to be put together, and they're individually linked. Like, this is insane, the price that I do. This is definitely, it's called my customer appreciation piece because there's nothing there for us. And that is a 36, 36 inch necklace with the four inch extender, and it's uh, 72 so grams, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But so pretty layered, I love okay, it. I love it. I love and it. it's like when mm -hmm. it it just it just layers so so pretty, and where they um, layer up, but look, I mean, either way, right? It's it's just such a pretty necklace, and again, you can add your pendants to them, so like your roses pendant, so maybe you do it here. And then you clip it right by it, right? So maybe I would do it up a little bit more here, like this. Because I'm losing it in my top. I'm so sorry. But anyway, you get the idea. Because my top. There. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you can still, you know, with the roses, you can still do your magnet enhancers over the top of it. And we want to make sure everyone uses their Live 10. That's all weekend long, Live 10, 10% 10, uh, 10 off your cart. With See, look at that. It's like $150 A different look every time you like, adjust it. Cool. You're like, oh, look how cute. Right? And it's reversible. Yeah, and it's fully reversible. That's what's so crazy. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't think I showed it close though, right? Because it was just you on the know, tray. Yeah, show the back okay. of the flower. <laughs> I love so, it. Too now I've just got to find where the opening's at because <laughs> it was like right there. Take this here. A lot of people saying they wear theirs a lot. They love it. Don't you? But look at it's see, it's person. double sided. Okay, so that's two roses that are put together. The amount of labor that goes into making this necklace is just crazy. See, then you have your stations. Then those are reversible also. That's what makes it so fun when you double it up. You can do it all different. But there's literally all those really beautiful four stations. And it, and it just layers and doubles perfectly. And that was something that was so hard. Like all the placement. I, I can't tell you how many prototypes I did of this before it was like, that's how many we had to have. Like, it's not an easy process, but it's an heirloom piece. I don't have anything better than it. I mean, it's it's, it's just one of those pieces to put on uh, your list. Oh, and don't forget, get your little earrings because these are just so sweet with that, that necklace too. These have the Omega uh, clips on them too. But yeah, these are just those little added pieces. When you get something that luxury, you, you want to add a couple pieces that are matchy-matchy because it's just that kind of quality. <gasps> Did you see? We got two sizes. So isn't that the coolest? That, it was the coolest shading of Amazonite, right? It's beautiful. So yeah, we, I, it's like, oh no, we got we got to get that. Um, we're still like trying to cut the other Amazonite, but we're not sure if it's going to work because cost-wise, um, I might have to save the rough for finished jewelry. Okay. So you're gonna have two sizes in those. Yep, and I was just trying to find. So that's really great. That. We have a six and a half and we have a seven and a quarter. So that seven and a quarter is gonna fit a six to seven inch wrist and the six and a half will fit a five seven five to a six seven five. Okay. I was just trying to find it. So you've seen my little blessed bracelet that I've been wearing all the time too. So <coughs> we just have a couple left but the way that I've designed it, this anchors down and has a little bit of a 
you know, it kind of weights it to where this stays where it's supposed to stay. Kind of cool. Like trying to engineer this, like um, a lot of people uh, might not have figured that out. And uh, another piece that took a long time to just get perfect, but just so lovely. Okay, let's go into some blues. Um, I had to bring this in. It's one of my favorites. I brought in enough for everybody. This yes. is my one of my this show onlys that yes. I'd love to bring up for you because I can't get enough of this ring. It is just that great little piece. So I love wearing that one here and I love taking this because it's like sizes up a little bit and I love wearing this as a thumb ring. So that one is $59.99 for both rings. Wow. Yeah, so you're getting the little fringe of panties. You see the little fringe of panty on here? Is he just not too cute, mm -hmm. right? With the full, full eternity hammered. And then you're getting the little fringe of panties. See how beautiful, just like a little dome of fringe of panties. And this is our little star cut in the true Picasso. And this is gonna go with all your blues for me. So it, mix it with your blue topazes, mix it with your tanzanites, your citrines. There's a little bit of yellow to the star cut um, faceted and just a really fun little ring. So you have any of your girls graduating, I'm telling you for gifts, break these apart. And you've got granddaughters, you've got daughters, like these are the ones, like it, it, it's almost a for sure thing that they're gonna love this. And for the price, you got two gifts now, right? Maybe that's when you ask for sort of packaging finally. Because you're like, <laughs> you're like, okay, I'm going to upgrade to get the package because I'm going to get two gifts out of it. And Janelle, we, when you did the plus <clears throat> bracelet, I didn't get a chance. Uh, this, it's a, this show only as well oh. on the price on the oh, plus bracelet. Oh, okay. I better show it then because it is amazing. It's $179.99. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, that's actually lower than we usually go. Okay. So, oh my gosh. No. This is a lot of silver. Do you see the rings just alone? So these are all connected together. So the whole bracelet is that literally link. But on the end, here it is right here. Double-sided charm. This is part of the engineering to keep this flat on your wrist. Anybody that has it, this is where you wear the, the bless towards you because the charms go out towards your wrist here, okay? so. For me, yes, can I get this on myself? I can, but I usually sometimes, um, let, let's see. So I do this and then I open it here because it's all hinged here. And then I open it and see, just adjust it like that. And do you see how that just lays down like that? And you're gonna love it. You're just, it, it, it just is one of those pieces. I usually wear it a, a, maybe a, one more link that way. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna love this piece. It's perfectly shaped to kind of like grab onto your wrist, but it is made for layering. So, oh, don't forget your little sword because I put, put that on. I love a tip to tip with it. It's one of my favorites to, I have to have a tip to tip. Um, this is so big on trend right now. It just will update all your other jewelry. So maybe you have other jewelry, putting some of these tip to tips with the cable is just gonna elevate all your jewelry. That's basically you do a silver tip to tip with what you've got and you're like, Whole nother, have whole nother level. And the blessed bracelet is going to fit a six to eight inch wrist. And the tip to tip. Oh, look at the earrings. I, I got to put them on together. Look at that. Boy, that's elevated. The Can tip to tip. I'm going to try those on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tip so you'd be this size. Okay. The tip to tip we have in three sizes. We have a six, a six and a half fitting a five, seven, five to a six, seven, five. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Do you want to try the other one? Yeah. Maybe you can wear the other one. Here, um, and then put your hand under. Because um, I, I gave you the other one thinking, but maybe yeah. um, you like things more fitted. No, no, no. You like things looser. Fitted. Oh, you but, like fitted. I don't know if my hand's okay. under there. So this one is the... Six and a half. Five. See how... Whoops, here, just a little bit more. So see how this one fits on her? I would probably size it in this one, so you yeah, have, because I'm then what, well, you put your silver ones with it, mm -hmm. right? And then this one is fitted. Yeah, that one's. Yeah, I, I would put you in this one. 
because you want to stack all your other bracelets and stuff with it. So like, I'm most likely they're going to be wearing another bracelet like this. So, I'll bring your down. Size? I can't no. quite see your wrist. Okay, sorry. I think this is your. Maybe I'm not sure if this is your size either. But see, yeah. Yeah. See, because you're going to do this. That way you have a little bit of space, right? Like this. No, I like this, Tanya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Good color. Too. But if you want it fitted, you can wear it that. She can get both of them on, so I'm not telling you how to wear your bracelets. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, you might want, like, looser sometimes feels better, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, you can wear them fitted, too. And the tip-to-tip -tip bracelet, Janelle, we uh -huh. can do fits on that. So we have it a six okay. and a half. And that's going to fit a 575 to a 675. We have a size 7 fitting a 6 to a 7 and a quarter. We have a 7 and a half fitting a 7 to a 775. And those are on special for $149.99. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I had the 7 on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes I like it, you know. But yeah, these these are really cool. Like, layered up sometimes, too, with, with different things in between. So, they, they were really cool as, like, a... You know, you want something a little bit more like elevated. Yeah, do that, right? Okay, so what time? Oh, is it four o'clock? It's five o'clock. It's well, five. Five, it's a few minutes to five. Oh, okay, so, oh, a few, okay. Yeah. You're so this will be, is it? Okay, yeah, oh, this is our last tray anyway. You'll be able to go through the blue tray. Okay, all right. 15, 20 minutes. Okay, good. sounds good. Okay, so um, we did this. Oh, this is, okay. Michelle's like shaking this bracelet at me today. She's I'm just like, like, I'm so excited. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't see you shaking jewelry at me. You're like, I love this bracelet. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> so did we get more in of this or this is it? That's it. No, that we, cause we couldn't get more of this cause this is like that Bali Byrite, the Bali blue Byrite. Like it's got those really beautiful colors, but yeah, it's the azurite material that just, I had to get it because the shading, I was like, it kind of goes with, it's another one like this, the green one that just keeps matching with stuff. And you're like, why does this keep matching with stuff? Mm -hmm. It just does. It looks good with everything. And it's funny, Tiffany was asking, what is the difference <coughs> between biorite and, or bear, is it bearite and biorite? Is there? Bali two? bar bar right. I think it's the same thing. Oh, same Do we thing. Spell okay. it wrong, different or something? I don't know. I'll have pretty. to research. I'll Google it. Tanzanite. Okay, this is going to be one yeah. of the lowest prices we've ever had this at because I love Tanzanite. This thing was supposed to be pricing at like $670. Like, I I just have very exclusive rich champagne taste. But so that I had to price this to where you guys, it could get in there. But this is luxury, luxury, luxury. It's Topazes and tanzanites and fancy cuts and just amazing. So ladies, good luck. That's a it's a, one of those opportunity ones, mm -hmm. one, and it, it is just it, it is. And the costing just on the gemstones alone, like yeah. I mean, to be honest, we tried to price this out for a reorder. The pricing on blue topaz right now in London, I, I was like, that cannot be right, Jess. So we might have to cancel all of our Londons and our blue topazes out for a while because I don't know what's going on. But I've always seen the value in it and suddenly now the market is. So I'm like, ooh, no. So um, anyway, we'll keep showing you the last few pieces, but I know they're like, everything might be limited and I apologize if we don't have your size in, or we sold out in some of this stuff, but um, yeah, it's, um, I don't think you're going to see any more uh, London and Blue Topaz from us for, for oh, like, yeah, we're almost a year out, so the rest of the year. So it'll just be what we have. The tip to tip Blue Topaz uh, bracelet is going to fit a 675 to a 775 wrist. I've got to put this on though, because this necklace, I did it shorter and I love it. And every time I just say, inch, yeah. it's 16, I love, love this. Do I, did I put it on right? Yeah. But it is, it's just that like shorter length that just, sometimes you don't want to get ready. My all silver or something like this and just luxury, just so pretty. 
And I have it on the shortest, just so you know, you can wear it longer, but I love it short. So there's gonna be that, and oh my gosh, I love the pictures you posted wearing this bracelet. Oh my gosh, right? And we, we I need this in the chrome, and I need it in the pink sapphire that we did. Like, mm -hmm. we, I need all of those uh, gemstones, right? And that's gonna fit a 575 to a seven and a half inch wrist, 149.99. Look how pretty, and this is that luxury chain. Mm. Oh, look how pretty that. Yeah, that's a nice, beautiful little stack. I'm not even this guy. Nice, pretty. So cute. There we go. Love it. Okay, so what are the other pieces? I've got the locket in the London. So I'm gonna have the locket, and you just press here. Super easy. I I, I engineer and design this. So ladies, you don't you have to use your nails. You just use your little finger now, and it snaps closed. Perfect. And then these are the Amberly hoops. <laughs> you know, Amberly has everything I've ever done, every motif I've ever done. And these are in the London Blue Topaz. And yes, they are a retention. So they're like so great. And just just a really super lightweight. You know how a lot of my other hoops, some can be heavier. This is that lightweight, like nice, beautiful size because you get a little bit more length with it. That's why, whoopsie, that's why I think I like them is you get a little bit more length, but you don't get the weight of them. And that's why I think the knife edge is it's just so perfect. Or you want your little cutie patootie ones to match along. This has the watermark that is represented in, see this, this is set on a watermark brick also. So pretty. <coughs> Oh, I never show, I never put this one on. That's so pretty. It's every time I put this on, I'm just like, wow. It's edgy, but it has the sophistication of all the London also. But it's not. This is not your like mother's ring, right? This has definitely got some personality to it. I love it. And we have it at ninety nine ninety nine, true to size. And this is a competition cut um, Swiss blue topaz that we call. Um, because all the light that goes into it, literally you're going to get ombres of, of blues. And then you're going to get your Londons on the shoulders that are just so beautiful. The little Jawan beads. I love the little scalloping. But look at the gallery. The gallery is just, like, again, it, it had to be something really regal because it is, yeah. Yeah, the price of this now, if I remade it, ugh, ouch. Janelle, Lisa Saruga is asking, were the blue teal beads the phoenix stone? This what? one? She said the blue teal beads. This Are they the phoenix stone? Oh, this is the, um, oh, okay. So yeah. this one is the neon appetite. So this, this is the celestial blue agate. This is the turquoise with it. I'm wondering, like, cause she came to Tucson, remember? Oh, she's oh, she's talking so about I'm, the new blue, um, the new blue beads, the Chrysocolla Phoenix Stone beads. Oh, the blue, this the one? ones we thought were the byright, yeah. This or one, ones that to me, like it's like, yeah, we we are not. I can't send it out because the the cost of like testing, but no, it's saying it's ashrite, so it's actually coming in, but it looks like the Bali byright. But here's the deal, the ashrite is. The, the coloring, the byright does grow around, uh, it does grow around the, 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 the malachite and the lapis. So it very likely could have byright in it. Yes. Okay. Cause but we're not sending it out because yeah, it's, okay, I mean, it would not make that bracelet affordable if I did. So we're just calling it as right, but yeah, well, we the byright does grow around those stones. So it could very well be the Bali blue byright, but I don't know, I, I'm not going to confirm that. Well, we have it on the website, we have it, Chrysocolla Phoenix Stone. Oh, the Chrysocolla, oh. So. Oh. I don't Phoenix. know if that's Chrysocolla, I don't know why we would have put Phoenix. Okay. I've never so heard I'll, of a, I'll, something. Okay, so I'll that take a weird. screenshot. I'll I think it. Phoenix has to be, to, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. No, because <laughs> that Chrysocolla is not from Phoenix. I mean, it would say Arizona, okay. not Phoenix. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Lisa. You're li- we're like sorry. Yeah, we're clean. I'm sorry. Yeah, because it's like I don't have time to go to everything. I do the the brand by that's supposed to get uploaded, and I say yes, it's this, it's this, it's this, and then sometimes things get changed, and I I I'm like nope, that's not supposed to be there. Um. Okay, this is a really cool with the tan. Where did this come from? This is a really great color. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, the blue quartz and all the stuff that I'm doing. That is really pretty. This is truly beautiful. This is, this is, I think, blue quartz. Oh my it gosh. It is blue agate and Is this brand new? No. Is that the, is oh that BBS gosh, 99, is, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is blue agate and tanzanite. It is a 18 inch necklace with a two inch extender and you have it at $59.99. So the tanzanite is wow. going to be included. Like for me to use this big a tanzanite, like I was like, okay. It was a, a steel, I, just for some color, but it's so pretty in the necklace, right? Mm-hmm. But it's not gonna be the quality of the full strand. Okay, so you're gonna get, this is the one that's like untreated. That's why you're getting like what it looks like before they treat it. Like that look of, you know, like when they dig it out, it's like you get some grays and then they heat it and that's when the true color comes through that's the look you're getting that's so beautiful yeah you have that one <coughs> priced really well at this one now oh my gosh who has not gotten this one yet with my clasp like this oh my gosh and this is and the, the neon appetite that is super rare 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 but so beautiful oh my gosh you need this for all your sleeping beauty turquoise you have oh my gosh right so All your Mexican turquoise you have for me. How much is this one? $119.99. Okay. And that's BDS 151, a 22 inch. That right there, I can't even get that. That's neon appetite, not like the green appetite. That's, this is a really great little mm-hmm. necklace. I, um, I, in, especially the quality, I think too now, because we're only using just those, the two people now to be, that are, we're the best. And, and, the quality of the beading, I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, oh, I, I forgot to show the blue topaz. So I, I only brought the really elevated blue topaz tonight. The, like the ones with the tanzanite and this height cut. That is, the color is crazy. And look at the Royal Bali blue topaz. So you're getting the topaz. I love the color shade. So this is that like cobalt blue topaz. And then you're getting that really rich Swiss. See the cup, like best, I mean, best of blues right here. And then the pendant. This is the one ladies buy as a set. Buy it as a set, trust me. This, this, this one with topaz, this is your set moment. Even if you don't wear them all together, I mean, this is so elevated that this one truly this one you could kind of mix and match, but this one, the coloring that, and especially with the, the, the way Swiss is going up right now, take advantage when I do the live shows to get your blue topaz or your Swisses for me, because it is a change in for me not to be using something, because I'm always going to give you a good price anyway. No, there's no way I could, you know, because of how much it's changing in the market. So, and this bracelet is going to fit a size six to a seven, seven, five wrist. Oh, I love this. And this is actually one that I act. I don't go with the blues as much, but all the time. But I got to tell you this, I really love this one. I love this size. Every time I put this one on, it just feels so good. But also too, it feels very expensive. And I know they are expensive, right? There's the topaz. This is. It, another one exclusive only to Sarda. You will not see this anywhere. These are those really cool little things that I get to bring you. Royal Bali Blue is the trademark, and you will only get it from us. From me, because I, I'm the only one designing the jewelry, too. Mm-hmm. So, just a tiny little clock here. Okay, so we've got just a little bit left, right? Michelle, oh, we love the true Picasso. <coughs> yes. Yeah, not much of the beauty. You ladies one. love this true Picasso. And that's going to fit a six to eight inch wrist. Ooh. 
yeah, that's when you like, yeah, get the starter cut. This is such a great deal. Um, I would probably do that over the other ones, right? Because of the, the pricing, but it's the, this is the same stone, same color, right? Mix your motifs, are you kidding? Yeah, definitely. Look at, do you see how like it changes all the time? So greens, your yellows, your blues, your cobalts, like this looks so pretty with with uh, tanzanite too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I did that really <coughs> pretty tanzanite and blue topaz collection. No, I don't have it here. I gotta, I gotta show that one soon. I might bring that in next week. I love that set, that, that, well, I'm gonna bring all of our our blue topaz up because now that I got the pricing back, I am I am going to make sure I show you every piece of blue topaz that we have, ladies. Because I'm not talking a small hike in price. Like, yeah, it's over triple. Ooh, this is so comfortable. This is a good ring, you guys. This is such a sweet little ring. Mm -hmm. Really great little size too, right? Yeah, I like that ring. Pretty. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, and oh my gosh, hello. Always the tip to tip. Okay, so this is where, okay, uh oh, we're going full on gem, but we're not taking our, our blessed bracelet off. See how the blues all just kind of go? Mm -hmm. This is, actually, this is my favorite tip to tip because it's got the really beautiful, this is a handmade, hollow do you know how hard that is for us to make that by hand but every single little jawline bead is put on by hand and I this is always like that's high high end like the ones that are done like this but that's done in our lotus cut do you see all the facets that one has the most facets that we we do in a gemstone is this one the lotus Always going to be my one of my favorite cuts, and again something I'm. Oh, okay. So this is where maybe we switch over. I want to bring that bracelet back, mm -hmm. the big cuff mm -hmm. uh, for holiday. Matter of fact, I actually did the gold on it, but I'm not sure if it's going to work though. The gold is like uh, the price too much. Um, but so pretty. I have this one too. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones to wear. But yeah, just like really look at the detail. Even even on the smaller size like this. It's just gonna be really and I and I love that negative space, that open space on your hands too, right? True to size. True to size. I think did we put this one? This is an eight. This it says true to size. True to yeah, size. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we didn't really have anything that no. I, we sized up in at all on this uh, whole show. On the castaway tip to tip bracelet, Janelle, with the blue top S, mm -hmm. that will fit a six to a seven and a half, and you have that at one forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, ladies, I'm I, you know, I'm always bringing this up, and I'm always giving you a good price during the show. One I ordered a lot of because everybody needs it. love this. Oh, I like that one too. I know. We love our little beaded like this, don't we, mm -hmm. ladies? So pretty. And you have that at $99.99, and that's going to fit a five and a half to a seven and a quarter interest. Yeah. This one I did a little bit smaller, right? Mm hmm I like that. But look at it. Really double sided. Yeah. If it's going you know, to twist and roll, you, you've got detail everywhere. The quality, quality. It's my little tennis, tennis link bracelet, I call them. What else did I? I think I got everything. I think you did. Did you show the cross? Oh my gosh! It was on the. Oh, I was going on. Where, where did this necklace come from? Sorry about that. Yes. And you know we, we brought the purple, so we've got the pink. Now we got the blue, and we got the purple. And oh my gosh! You right here, ladies. Oh my gosh. You need both of those in your life because it's, it's my little signature style. And we love crosses, right? We, we want to show like that amazing priceless gift that he did for us. It is done. And you know, wow, just that meaning. You know, I'm going to a church now where we actually um, 
take communion like every and it, it is is this reset of hey you know what's going on through the week and just like just remembering that each week I it, it, I really really love it so take that and answer and then I have a couple questions for you when you're done yeah, yes okay so Connie Hans Young was asking uh -huh. if a mystic can be a quartz or a topaz or is one is it always one or the other um, it can always be a topaz, so um, and a quartz. So okay, I do mystics well. in topazes, and I do them in quartz. And um, so yes, there's it, because it is it, the way that it's treated, and it's only one place that can actually do them. That will be a permanent gemstone. It's a permanent, so it's it's not inexpensive. It's astronaut technology. And so there's a lot of things that they do to stones, but it's not going to hold up. So if you don't see it with a TM behind it, it's not coming from the right place. It's not legal. So, yeah. And then uh, Ray was asking if you could ever, make, if Castaway will ever be available as a ring. I think That's we did so have a ring, and it's a, it's one that we can't cut anymore, and it's it's one that has the gold in it, and gold is too expensive. So it's one of the ones where the gold kind of saturates in, and that's where you get your yellows. Too expensive. Are the blue topaz earrings heavy? The, the kite, I think the, the, kite, the kite shape. Yeah. Do th oh, these. Oh, no. No? No, the way that I did the bezel on this one. Oops, there you go. Can't really tell, but and then Cindy yeah, these was, are definitely wearable for sure. Cindy was one. The abalone is actually heavier than these. Yeah. Uh, Royal Bali Blue is that a um, is the Royal Bali Blue a mystic? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the 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 coloring, it's yeah. And that, that, I get the most excited about those. So, yeah, the Bali High, the Royal Bali, the Bali Sunrise, um, the Bali Breeze, those are all topazes and exclusive uh, to my collection. And we get to spin. We get some more stones. Oh, we got spins. Yes, yes. So, so we're spinning for these earrings. We okay. get... Uh, for more people. As a thank you for liking, sharing, thank and Thank you so much for doing that. Yes. We're doing life together. We're getting through our things together, ladies. So I so appreciate your support and um, want you to have an amazing weekend. Are you spinning? Uh, Doris Williamson was number one. Okay. Congratulations. Number okay. two, Jancy Munster. Oh my gosh. I saw you in the feed earlier and Kim Hoden and started earlier too what we were saying i was like oh, oh my gosh barb back on. <gasps> miss barb how are you oh my gosh and our last lucky lady is clarissa brown oh my gosh Ooh. clarissa is so good to see you too um she, yeah she was on our show the other night so anyway we had a great time with you and i i hope i was able to give a good tour yeah. of those and a lot of stories tonight right we tried to answer as many yes. questions. So. And um, Tanya and I are going to be on, you're going to be on TVSN this weekend. So yes. On, and yes. Monday. Mm -hmm. So Tanya and I are actually going to do Monday at 2.30. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm so excited. So Yay. 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. Okay, yeah. very cool. we we got to do some, maybe some extra little we cool have things. Plans. Let's do some surprises. We've been talking. <gasps> we have a plan. There you go. <laughs> They're all approved. <laughs> 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 Let's wish, okay. wish everyone a happy Father's oh, yeah. Day. Oh, uh, happy Father's, Father's Day, Day Father weekend. Out there. Yes, yeah. right? Happy Day. Yes. yes. Okay. To you too, Mickey. Thank you. Yes, happy Father's Day, everybody. And ladies, take good care. And we will see you on Tuesday for 